Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Builders. Today, I'm gonna to show you the draw shot with English. Why is this a must have shot? Because it comes up constantly. So I'm gonna show you some examples of how it should be hit, the speed that you should be dealing with, and some of the options that you have all over the table by having this shot in the bag. So let's get started. Let's look at a couple of situations where we might use this shot. Let's say we have these three balls and we need to get from one to the other. We want to play everything in that corner because it's obvious, right? It's an easy shot. If we had to shoot the six ball first, we could take a regular draw shot. The ball would look like this. If we had good speed, we might actually get this position. But what if we want to get on the five and we don't want to increase our distance this much? We could shoot this with a little bit of low right we get perfect position on this ball. We didn't end up all the way down here. If you have a nice touch to this, you can go down here, you can come up here, you can change your speed without a lot of adjustment and you can get on a lot of, a lot of different shots. This is the number one shot that we use, at least I use, for things like the line drill and the L drill. Once you have the shot down, it gives you a tremendous amount of control. And it is key when you want to shoot balls that are short shots in the same pocket. So a lot of you are going to say, exactly where are you hitting the ball, Brian? Show me on a GoPro. Where I'm hitting the ball does not necessarily mean you're going to hit it in the same spot. But what I can tell you is you want to be around the five o'clock mark for low right hand English, and you wanna be around seven o'clock for low left hand English. Exactly where you're going to hit the ball is going to depend on your stroke, your follow through, and a lot of things. If I... Let's look at another interesting use of this shot. Let's say we are playing a game where we have a ball right here where this three ball is, and we need to get on the eight, but we need to get on the eight for that pocket. Maybe we're playing one pocket, maybe we're playing last pocket, maybe we're playing eight ball and all the pockets are blocked. Whatever the situation is, we need to get on the eight in that pocket. We have a very similar shot here, guys. It's low left hand English this time. We're gonna be on this side of the table. We follow through. It's just about the same speed as our other shot. We pull up right behind the eight ball. This is a very common shot for advanced players. You guys have to get this in your game. It is a delicate stroke that takes finesse, but you can pick it up and you can pick it up quick. I've shown you variations of this shot before because it is so important and because it is misplayed so often. We're on a nine, need to get on the eight. Table could be full of balls, it doesn't matter. The same shot's gonna work for you. What we are doing here is coming off the nine, that's our last ball in an eight ball game, and we need to get on the eight. What does the intermediate player do? He comes over here, shoots a shot, where hopefully he comes down and gets a line on the eight ball by shooting it off this rail. What does he usually do? Undershoot it or overshoot it? My money is on the over. I'm betting 85, 90% of the time, most players are going to overshoot it. Why? Because most amateur players hit the ball too hard. So. What do we do to avoid overshooting the shot? We come off of two rails with low right hand English. This is what every pro, you want to know what Shane would do. This is what Shane would do. He'd come off of these two rails and move in line with the eight ball. Shot's going to look like this. It just gets better and better as the ball rolls. That's the shot, guys. That shot, the reason I show it to you probably once every four or five months is because it is that valuable. You can undershoot it and you're here and straight in. You can overshoot it and you're up here and straight in. Get that shot in your game. We're straight in on the seven this time. Could be balls here, could be balls here. Doesn't matter. If we have this route where we can simply shoot into the seven, come off of this rail and move in line with this shot, we're gonna have good shape. Once again, moving in line with the shot, the shot gets better and better as the ball rolls and we're on this eight ball. Now, what do we do if we have the exact same shot 
it just regular draw is not quite going to get us there. We need to get further down table. Why do we need to get further down table? Because our eight ball is here and we need to get over here. It is the same shot, but this time you're really going to let your stroke out. Good follow through, good speed, low left hand English, push through the shot. Our cue ball is going to come down here like magic. Everybody's going to ooh and ah, and guess what? Even if you have relatively fair <laughs> speed control, you're going to be in a zone where this eight ball is a layup and it will be a wrap. If you've tried to shoot the L drill or the line drill and you're not able to get through the first few balls, there's a good chance that this shot is something you did not have in your game yet. It would be nice to shoot a series of nice little draw shots to get on all of those first shots, but you have to get perfect on each one. What do you do the first time you get out of line? Well, for starters, you want to get out of line on what would be my left hand side. So if I'm playing the five, I don't want to be straight here on the nine. I definitely don't want to be over here where I'm not going to have another shot. If I get straight, I'm toast. I can't get to the 15. But watch what happens if I allow myself to get to this side of the nine ball. Short little draw shot, right hand English. Now I have the exact same shot. So then you shoot the exact same shot. A little bit more speed this time because I have a wider angle that I need to cover. Same shot. Now I'm straight in. What do I do? I have about a six or seven foot draw shot here, maybe a lot less, about five foot and I'm straight on the four. But each of these shots, they're not recovery shots. They are an attempt to get on that side of the ball so that I could shoot that same shot over and over again. When you work this, when you practice this, do not, do not set up the L drill and try to get through it and force yourself to get through it. You're going to go out of your mind. If you don't have that shot, don't shoot that yet. Use this as a prerequisite to the L drill. What you want to do is have your drill as a prerequisite when you can make those four going across, now you can work the entire line. But don't drive yourself nuts with this. Get the shot down and then work your way up to try to do the drills. Don't think of the drills as a test. Think of it as a drill. Let's look at one more thing. So here's a shot that looks to a lot of people like the same situation. But we're not going to come from this angle to come off of two rails to get on that nine ball, which we could do. What we're going to do because we have a straight in situation is we're going to come back here with that right hand English and spin our way over to shape on the nine ball. We don't need to get perfectly straight on the nine and we can't hit it too hard. It's got a little tiny bit of right hand English. If you notice, this has put us on the nine ball. Now, once again, it's a different shot than if we're here and we need to get on the next ball. It's actually a more difficult shot and I'll tell you why. Even when you have good speed control with a draw shot, controlling the English is the toughest part. Remember the shot where we came all the way down table and we ended up getting shape on a ball that was down here and I told you you need to worry about scratching. It's the same situation. Now I have a similar angle. I can let my stroke out a little bit more because of how wide I can get on this five ball, low right hand English, come around, move in line, very nice shot on the five ball. All right, that shot is gonna take a little bit more finesse and a little bit more practice because of the speed and the English that you're using off the single rail. If I had to shoot it, I really would rather have this angle on each of those shots than to have this one where I come off the rail, one rail, and get on those shots. You would develop a preference, and I'm thinking that the better you get, the more likely your preference is going to be to use two rails. So I just showed you five different ways that you can use draw shots with English to get shape on balls that are sometimes all the way down table, sometimes right next to the other ball, sometimes you wanna play in the same pocket. We just touched the tip of the iceberg. 
use those shots to create thousands of other scenarios. Guys, when you learn these shots, you pick up a lot of information that is going to allow you to run out. You're going to see them more often now that you know about it, if you haven't known about it before. So you're gonna start seeing it all over the place. The important thing is that you're able to execute the shot when you see it. All right, give us a thumbs up, hit us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribing, you're missing a lot. There's about 70% of you that watch these videos regularly who have not subscribed yet. Uh, that's just crazy because that means you're missing videos and guys send me emails and comments all the time. Hey Brian, can you make a, a video about this and make a video about that? And you know what my answer is? 90% of the time, we did it. It's out there, you didn't see it because you didn't have the subscribe button and the notification button on, okay? Make sure you subscribe so that you know when we put out new content. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you.